It is Wednesday, January 15th. Time to take a look at your morning headlines. And Democrats had tremendous success two years ago running a slate of candidates who were women or were from minority backgrounds. Star Tribune front page reporting today that Minnesota Republicans are working to build their own slate of women candidates. Patricia Mueller is talked about in this story. She's a public school teacher in Austin. Never thought she'd run, but some women in the party asked her if she would consider, and then asked her again and again, and so she is running. At least nine Republican winning, women have announced they will be running for DFL House seats. Also, former Lieutenant Governor Michelle Fishbach has announced she's running against U.S. Representative Colin Peterson. It is a tricky issue for Republicans. The experts quoted in the story say, as Republicans say as a party, that they don't embrace identity politics. But the Republican leader saying it is important to have women and men all represented. USA Today reporting that the way Americans are drinking alcoholic beverages is changing. For the first time in 25 years, we are drinking less wine. Well, you are drinking less wine. We're down 1% in the volume of wine drinking, but we are spending more overall on alcohol. That is up 2.5%. Basically, we're buying more premium products. Tito's Vodka is the new top-selling spirit in the country. White Claw blew up this year. Millennials showing more of a preference for spirits and sparkling wines and fizzy drinks. It's one of the most captivating stories of the year. A disgraced CEO, a charged criminal, now on the run from the law. New York Times with the story of Carlos Gosen. He was charged with financial wrongdoing, escaped from house arrest. He fled to Lebanon. While that plays out, his former car company is tanking. Nissan's revenue and profits falling, U.S. sales down 11 percent. Many dealers blaming Gosen, saying he was pushing so hard to get 10 percent market share for Nissan and Infiniti that they slash prices too much, too many incentives just to hit the goals. Profit in North America down nearly 60 percent. Some wondering if Nissan and Infiniti will survive. With the Oscars right around the corner, a local company is hoping some of that golden glow will rub off on them. They have made it into the swag bag given to hundreds of celebrities and maybe more importantly, it gets a ton of publicity. Star Tribune's Johnny Walt. The story about Essence One, it's a company that makes natural body oils, bath salts, aromatherapy. Uh, aromatherapy. The business was started by Lauren Van Scoy just a couple of years ago in 2016. She uh, told the paper that she had some anxiety and depression after the birth of her child. And so she turned towards natural mental health therapies Good. and developed all of these kind of body and skin and aromatherapy nice. products to help her through that. So what a great success story. Wow, that yeah. is yeah. really, talk, really good for her. Talk yeah. about exposure with all those celebrities getting her products. Uh, yeah. 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 I would love to get one of those swag bags, wouldn't you? Oh, I would. <laughs> man, isn't the value of those things like $100,000 or something? Yeah, I'd probably just put it on that? eBay. <laughs> I, I wonder, do the celebrities keep it or do they give it to their assistant yeah. or somebody probably that works a little bit for them? Yeah. yeah mm -hmm. I definitely All right, Jason, thank you.